In November, Calvary is preparing a meal to serve at Ray of Hope here. And I'm at Ray of Hope in Kitchener to give you a glimpse of the space in case you haven't seen it before. Uh, Ray of Hope is a Kitchener-based Christian nonprofit organization that has the mission of changing lives of vulnerable people with Jesus at the center of everything that they do. Along with two hot meals every day, their services include food hampers, chapel, employment services, nursing, foot care, barber services, drop-in counseling, day and live-in treatment, a marketplace, and more. Providing a hot meal is an immediate need while also giving the staff and volunteers a chance to build relationships with the guests. Relationships the staff need to invite guests into change and hope. The way that uh, we got involved with Ray of Hope was there was a team from here that went down and out of the cold uh, program was running in downtown Kitchener. And so out of that, that program closed. Um, and so we were thinking, okay, well, what can we do now? And then this opportunity came up for Ray of Hope. And the director at that time came to Calvary and talked about Ray of Hope and their mission and what they do there. And so we thought, okay, this is something that um, really resonated with us as a team. And we thought, okay, we, we can do this. So we put it out to the church family. The response was amazing. And we started with um, three times a year we go to Ray of Hope and we do an evening meal. So what that involves is we arrive at 3.30, we do all the prep work, um, and then we, we serve and um, we don't, uh, there's another team that comes in from outside that does clean up, which is really lovely. <laughs> and um, yeah, and so it really, it really um, was a good transition from out of the cold to uh, Ray of Hope. One of the first times that we went into Ray of Hope, uh, we were just all so, I'm probably going to get all emotional about this, but there was a gentleman sitting in the office, and as soon as we saw him, we all went, oh my goodness. So this was a gentleman who came to Out of the Cold every time we were there. He was very angry. Um, we knew that we needed to serve him right away. <laughs> um, so that he got his food right away. He was big, um, he was gruff. Anyway, all that to say, the first time we saw this guy sitting in the office at Ray of Hope, he was sitting there, he was clean shaven, um, he was clean, and um, he had a wooden cross around his neck, but it was his face that was just, well, you could tell that he'd been healed and restored, that he'd met Jesus, and he was a different person. And we all said to each other, okay, this is why we do this. This is why we support Ray of Hope. This is why, even though we are not part of the personal lives of these people, we are still making a difference in the lives of uh, guests that come in. Whether, I know we're serving a meal, but we're also supporting the staff. Uh, we're uh, we're uh, the face of, of a faith community that knows that this is important. This is part of Jesus' kingdom work, and this is why we do it. Did you know that a hot lunch and a hot dinner are served here every day of the year? And the food comes from places like us, Calvary, who donate, prepare, and serve food each day. Calvary currently commits to preparing three meals a year, serving 150 to 200 people each time. And in November, we will again have a chance to come and partner with this amazing local ministry. Will you consider giving? Last time we made a meal, our donations did not cover the cost of the meal. And supporting our Ray of Hope meal team with a financial donation is a very tangible way that our church family can be the church outside the walls of our building. Will you join us as we share God's love?